August, I got my Snapchat hacked. Like, actually, it ha I got hacked back in August, and nothing came of it until April. Like, I don't know if the pictures and videos got into, like, the wrong hands. I don't know if the person that originally hacked me was, like, bragging about it and maybe sent them to other people who then posted them. But I got hacked back in August. I logged onto my Snapchat. I was logged out. And then when I logged back in, they had added my ex back. And they had also saved, like, they downloaded all my Snapchat data. So they went into, like, my ex's conversation, my current boyfriend's conversation, and then, like, maybe anything else I had just, like, in my memories from, like, my last boyfriend from, like, years ago. So they went in. I went on Reddit one day. I saw myself, you know, not with clothes on. And I was like, oh, my God. Like, my God. someone literally posted all this everywhere. And I did want to quit social media at the time. But then I, I took a little break. I took a three-day break. I thought about it. I talked to my team. I talked to my family, which, by the way, no one close to me ever said anything negative. Anyone that I talked to, like my company especially, everyone was so positive about it. They're like, this is so normalized nowadays. This yeah. isn't like uh, 10 years ago, 20 years ago. Like everyone has certain things like that they want to keep private. But I never showed like sexy sides of me on social media. Like my social media is very, it's very tame, very mm -hmm. mellow. So the only time I ever felt, you know, like womanly sexy was with like my boyfriend at the time. And so someone, you know, went in there, took it, posted it to the whole internet. And um, I did want to quit, but then, you know, I, I took a good hard look at myself and I thought about it and I was like, I can't let this person like sit and watch me like cry every day. Like I can't let them win. I can't let them see me be upset. And I think there's like a power in me doing it because so many other girls have reached out to me saying something like this has happened to them. So I think if I can show that it doesn't bother me and that it's only a tiny speck in my life, because like yeah. when I'm 95, I'm not going to care that like everyone saw that. I don't, I won't, I don't even think I care right now, honestly, because like my life didn't change. Just the only thing that changed was my comment section because it's wild and everyone always talks about it. But if I can like help one person by showing that like I can move on from it and be like a strong woman figure, then so be it. But yeah, no, uh, that was that was like, yeah, I've never had something like that happen in my life. It was obviously like, the upside first, down. We'll say it's like two or three weeks 